Washington, the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi today rejected two Trump allies from serving on the January 6th Select Committee to investigate the Capitol insurrection. And now the House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy is threatening to pull all of his appointees and boycott the whole process. Speaker Pelosi vetoed GOP Representatives Jim Jordan of Ohio and Jim Banks of Indiana. On January 6th, both congressmen voted to overturn the election results, even after Trump supporters stormed the Capitol. Today, Leader McCarthy called Speaker Pelosi's veto an egregious abuse of power. This panel has lost all legitimacy and credibility. And it shows exactly what I warned back at the beginning of January, that Pelosi would play politics with this. Congresswoman Liz Cheney, Speaker Pelosi's Republican appointee to the committee, blasted Leader McCarthy's comments and defended the Speaker's decision to block his appointees. The rhetoric that we have heard from the minority leader is disingenuous. At every opportunity, the minority leader has attempted to prevent the American people from understanding what happened, to block this investigation. The idea that anybody would be playing politics with an attack on the United States Capitol is despicable and is disgraceful. Of course, House Republicans stripped Congresswoman Cheney of her leadership position a couple of months ago after she called out the former president's big lie over the election. NBC's Sahil Kapoor now. Sahil, they're fighting, so now what? Shep, the reality of this situation is that this January 6th committee is going to begin its work and have its first hearing regardless of how all of this shakes out. Now, Speaker Pelosi had vetoed two of uh, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy's picks for this committee, and McCarthy has threatened to withdraw all five of them. Unless one of them backs down here in this standoff, the committee is going to have to move forward with only the eight of Speaker Pelosi's choices, which includes seven Democrats and one Republican in uh, Liz Cheney. At the end of the day, the, the strange reality of the situation, Shep, is that both parties are getting essentially a bit of what they want here. Democrats wanted to do a serious investigation of the January 6th attack, uh, focused on that event without Trump allies there to run interference on his behalf. Republicans had never been that enthusiastic about investigating that attack for the politically awkward fact that it was supporters of Donald Trump who ransacked this Capitol. They can now move on, as Kevin McCarthy suggested, to uh, investigating other things, other forms of violence such as Antifa and those associated with the political left, which they were more enthusiastic about doing. Bottom line, Speaker Pelosi's eight members have a quorum to continue this panel and to uh, begin its work next week when it will hear from police officers in D.C. Metro Police and the Capitol Police who are defending against this attack. Shep? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.